Kundas, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Chiku, and I hope you've been perfect and you've been awesome. Yes, welcome to this video. Today, I wanted to do a short uh, but impactful kind of video. It's a sit down, and I wanted us to discuss about uh, remaining connected with God. There are so many ways uh, you can remain connected with god but you know we are all busy and during the day you can get distracted so many distractions or you can even lose focus uh, remaining in the presence of god and so i saw this somewhere and i wanted to share with you my viewers so i hope it helps you and uh it's from if you can if you want to go uh for more you know for more info I'll try link the link below. It's from Ascension Presents, Ascension Presents, and uh, Father. It, it's from Father McMurray, and he was saying uh, the four steps that you can do to remain always connected with God. Uh, we know we all have. We are always on the go, 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 go. Uh, get this, do this. After this, uh, maybe write that article. Maybe you post that video. Maybe you have. You have an a maybe eight to five work so you're all all packed by the time you come home you're so tired you just say a short prayer in the morning you're also in a hurry you do a small devotion and then you go and th if you're not careful that this might uh might make you lose connection remaining one-on-one -on -one with god and so he he had these four steps and he, the number one was you wake up the first thing you wake up also make a schedule to wake a little bit earlier uh, so that you can spend like really good amount of time with God because here you'll have to wake up read uh, read the Bible read the Word of God and meditate on it um, do a devotion like if it's the reading of the day uh, if you have your church has the reading of the day or if you don't you can just read like a chapter meditate on it and here now after you meditate on it reflect reflect reflecting on it you now bring your heart to God you ask God to come in into your life you give him all your concerns you tell him all you want to accomplish during the day and then you start off you start your day because now you've already set a tone for the day you've already whatever was troubling you you've already spoken it out and you already believe god will go is going to answer you Whew. sorry that was a mosquito and it's really trying me <laughs> okay okay now that you've done you've done that and now you're you've gone uh to your shugulis you've gone to do your work you know now comes lunch time or the noon time and here now it's where you do an examine and an examine i will tell you what an, an examine is an examine is a devotional exercise involving a reflection on moral evaluation of one of one's thoughts and conduct so here you have to do an examine uh, of the morning hours of the morning part and here so he recommends you have small cards like this where it's written and examined i actually did this today i created mine because i want to make this an example i want to make this come to fruition and on the cards now uh inside the card you have to have two parts you have to have the thanksgiving side and the part that you're asking for mercy and forgiveness and on the, the forgiveness side you have to uh, on the thanksgiving side sorry you have to list you have to list the things that you are grateful for that the ones that god has fulfilled maybe you've made a sale maybe your boss has been good to you he has given you something extra you know some like a you know something uh to make your day he has made your way or your workmate or you've received just good news at uh, from your family member all these things you list them down on the thankful or the thanks thanksgiving side then this is all in the exam in noon time now then on the mercy side and the forgiveness side you will also examine yourself uh, during the morning hours what have you done maybe have you gossiped have you been jealous have you 
you know have you crossed someone or as are you still harboring something against someone you've not forgiven them and here you also ask for God's forgiveness and for mercy and so this you carry with you and this is going at least you are being present you're being one-on-one -on -one with God and you're speaking to him even if it's not like in the basic normal prayer form but you are uh, you are in touch you are in the presence of god you are in touch with him and yeah you're basically talking to god that particular hour it can be a five minutes thing it can be a three minute thing uh whatever you just spare some moments and speak to god through your heart then in the evening in the evening now he recommends that you do a psalm a psalm is uh, you know something uh <clears throat> just giving thanks and honor to god you can put on like uh, a devotional you can hear a devotional uh you can open the the word again and just like david you can say you recite up uh, uh, like a psalm or you can um, put on a, a, a worship song but in it in it make sure you're speaking also to God you can be thankful for the day you can just like just spare some teeny tiny bit of those minutes to speak a psalm to God to be grateful or to ask him uh, whatever concerns whatever that concerns your heart ask him to come in as you go home this can be done in the matatus or in your car or right when you're preparing a dinner you just speak to god at those few minutes then in the evening now just before you sleep also now you oh on the summer on the summer part the evening parts always uh end it with, with like the the lord's prayer that is the, our father or the grace and uh, and yeah he basically um was saying and always with our father our father what in heaven and lord be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not to temptation but deliver us from evil amen yeah always include the lord's prayer it's it's it, it is the Lord's prayer and he gave it to Jesus for, for us to speak to God then in the evening now in the at night you're on your bed be, just before you sleep now here you you wind up your day you give uh, Thanksgiving again uh, you not not no, not in a particular order but just for the day for the good things that he has done for you and even now um ask god to show you the light where you are wrong uh, you remember you you have your examine your examine card where you can see what you've done wrong and what should you where you fell short where you fell short so ask god to give you light and to show you mercy and tomorrow to give you a peaceful rest and tomorrow to give you a day full of fruitfulness blessings and favor and yes and you wind up your day and you finish off having a very a very a very impactful day in the presence of god throughout the day not just in the morning or not just any it's all just about being sorry guys oh goodness lord this mosquito is really on me yeah you just like it's just basically being having intention having that intention to be in the presence of God and that's what he really wants he doesn't want us uh, to go to him when we have all the when we are you know we are now we have done everything else and that, that and then and uh, now the few minutes we can spare that's for him no he wants us to be intentional he wants us to have his heart and he wants us to serve him in every single detail of our lives so thank you so much Bakundas. i don't want this video to be long but i hope you can do this i'll i'll be carrying my cards wherever i go every single day you can make viewers and if you want you meet up with me ask me for one i always have mine in my bag so thank you so much for joining me i love you so much uh have a bright week have a bright week be wise stay safe 
and all the best i'm really trying to find words to end it <laughs> but that's it i love you so much Mwah, bye